in this job as a female mechanic is a calling from God. And luckily for us, we got this space to use for some time. And that's why you see all this structure. It's not as if we, we erected from the beginning. We just got this space to use for some time, depending when we get our own permanent location. So that's how this place uh, came about. So we had to learn this, yes. So definitely, people want you. If you can get people to actually patronize you and help, it means that we can move to another place. Yeah, we, we need jobs. When we get more jobs, we'll get money to buy. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I was, uh, I, was, I, was I was asking about um, the young ladies you are training, and you said part of the challenges is the fact that um, if you train them, because you are training them for free, you don't take any money. If you train them, the challenge you have is that you cannot take all of them to work with you. Course, you will yes. need them to go and establish their own or work with other people. But the major challenge is that they don't have the capital to start up. You know, so what do you think? How much do you think basically can put up a small kit for a young girl that wants to be a mechanic to start? Well, um, yes, I didn't mention that the concept is after training, they get employed or they set up on their own. Then we employ some of them. We don't want to just have a number that we have just trained to just make names. Mm -hmm. We want to train and for them to continue from where we stop. So, uh, if, if for the ones we've trained, for them to set up, we'll be looking at about 150 to 250,000. We know the dollars are included, so yes. I cannot be specific on the amount. So, let's just say 250, there are about. Yes, so that's the amount they can set up on the amount. As a mobile technician, not setting up. Yes, as a mobile of course, as a mobile technician, somebody can, if they can't call somewhere, they can call you, they can yes, call you, you and can call you and to start, yes. yes. And with that, you can make your 2,000, 3,000, yes. 5,000 naira, which of course is a way that... Even to run scan alone, you can charge customers for run and scan so you make your money. Oh, that's uh, nice. Yes. That's nice. So it's a way of actually giving somebody a source of livelihood and they can put food on their table yes. and also support their their family. Is there any age range you're looking at? Well, or any uh, woman can come? First of all, yeah. women, it's provided you can read and write, you know, why I said that is because for scanning, you need to be able to read, to be able to interpret error codes. You need to understand how to use um, your phone and also the scanning machine again. So if you don't read it, it will be difficult, except you just concentrate more on the, the repair part. You cannot do uh, the diagnosis yes. part because of the reading ability. Yes, we can take even people that cannot read, just that will have a of extra of, class uh, to help them. To not even extra class, of course, you can't teach them how to read. So you just have limits of what you can train them on. What you, you cannot train them on diagnostics because they cannot read. So you can only train them on the mechanical part alone, where they will change brake parts, service vehicles, and all that. Yes. So women from say 18 years old. Can they have 40 years? But you still have. But if you still, teenagers can pick this quickly. Also, teenagers maybe after school when they are on long vacation, you know, secondary school students. Most of them are like 15, 16. Because yes, we don't see yes, children yes, in mechanics. 15, 16 years is good. But, you know, uh, we, want, we also encourage them to go to school. Yeah, so maybe during all the days, they can be doing that before they finish. Well, that's really, really, really nice. So please, Nigerians, eh? We have an uh, auto lady. She's not just, she didn't just, she's not just a good mechanic. She's not just training people for free, but she's also she also gives back to her community because she gets um, young uh, girls to be trained. So to sponsor a girl is just about from 150,000 to about 250,000 naira. So wherever you are, you can actually find her. If you want to find, you can find her. Auto lady, she's on Facebook. You can find her. You know, you can you can you can uh, check her out on. You can Google her auto auto lady garage. You know. And uh, we're going to display her number during this program also so that you can call and find out how can you help. If you have a young person that you want them to learn mechanic, you can reach out to her. So we'll go on a short break and we will be right back. She's still here. Welcome back. You're still on Right On With Joyce and I have uh, Joyce Adams Desha and uh, we're discussing we're, we're talking about we're, we're sharing her story on how she became a female mechanic and how she's training other girls and she's paying it forward you know um recently the president uh, launched something called autogas you know because of the cost of petroleum 
skyrocketing and they came up with the ad with this, with this uh, uh, concept that okay the way these cars are designed they can actually also use gas you know and um, i saw the launch that you were also part of uh, the launch of the auto gas why auto gas why should people switch as a mechanic what is your advice well um auto gas has existed not in nigeria it has started before we just started implementing it in nigeria and uh, the, the the advantage of using auto gas is going to save you on cost of buying fuel because it's cheaper it's just like you're using your kerosene and gas which one do you think is cheaper kerosene gas yeah gas. so the same thing applies to vehicle and petrol and, and gas so and also aside the consumption it also helps our environment it's greenhouse green energy. Energy. <laughs> greenhouse energy right yes then it's environmental friendly yeah and uh, also helps your vehicle to perform more than okay. when you use petrol okay so that's that's is it it's cheaper then it's how, cheaper. how do you how do you um do you, do, do you uh, fix the auto gas uh, engine or what do you call it? Is it okay, a no, we have, or whatever? We How have do kids. Do we have the auto gas kids that we install in the vehicle because the car manufacturer has left some spaces for, for this. They have already you well, know, from the inception from when the inception, they designed yes, there already there is space, for space for even where you switch there's a space, there's a dummy where you can switch and change the button to you can switch to gas if you want and you can use we are not changing it to only gas for the uh, gas you, know, you can use you can switch from, from gas to fuel from fuel well, to gas, so we are now so removing from this one and, and, and it just dual. takes a, a, the press of the just button. Just once you press the button, it will switch automatically. So we have the re and the installation keys that we put and the tank at the at the trunk. So that just it. And where you refill is close to the fuel tank. Yes. So that's that is basically. So in case you just want to change your your gas your, you want to fix gas in your car and you want to be switching from petroleum to gas they also offer that kind of service so what do you think um uh, what kind of cars from what year well any kind of car can be converted provided any the vehicle is in good condition mm -hmm. okay you don't expect to convert the vehicle that is not in good condition you expect it to move well when the one that is uh, the, the foil you have never finished well any car that is well maintained can be converted to auto gas. Okay, and do you, you encourage people to do that? Well, yes, if they have to. So, what kind of, apart from that, what, what other services do you do? Uh, we do repairs and maintenance, basically, we do sales of vehicles, we do training, not only for girls, that the girls is for the foundation, we also do training for even the men too. Okay. Yeah. So, and also, we do body work and painting, car wash, everything, one stop auto shop. Everything automobile, that is what we do. Okay, so how do you how do you maintain uh, being a, a mechanic and being married and having kids? How do you and I, have three, do you I have three girls. You have three girls, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I have three, have girls. three girls. Yes. So how do you maintain, how do you, how, how do you manage? Well, it's not really easy. If I say it's easy, I'm lying. But um, everything is all about planning. Even though sometimes you want to think and your children will not distracting you because they need your attention so you just we are not trying to manage but just management and planning <laughs> i don't know how to explain it just planning planning, planning. planning. <laughs> being a married woman and also a career woman it's yeah. not easy so your husband supports ah it's uh, number one so it's support <laughs> very well so and i'm grateful for that uh, so that's really, really if not for him i don't think i can i can call him so you understand yes and he's not a mechanic at all no, he's an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> he's not That's really, really, really interesting. So don't worry, he, he'll be somewhere. He'll be managing the accounts. You just make the money. <laughs> That's really interesting. So, you know, um, there are so many women out there. There are so many young people out there. And you have experienced it all. You have seen the... Yeah, the day I, I imagine the day you got the 10 million and I was like, eh, 10 million. And, you know, you have seen the, the, the downfall also. The day... Your, your, in one day, second, your, in you seconds, your you entire me. workshop <laughs> came down before your very eyes. And you were not just that, you were, just, you were even assaulted on it. So, uh, what would you advise anybody who has made up their mind to, to start up something and 
maintain it and seed. You know, people just start and they just you know, if something happens to you. What would you advise? Well, from my experience, I would say passion first. Because if you are not passionate about what you're doing, like this workshop demolition, you know, I lost everything. I was supposed to just go and sit down at home. I know they do again. But the passion has kept me going. So, passion first. For it. Don't just go into a business because other people are doing it. Check yourself if you really have passion for it so that when challenges come, you'll be able to withstand and move forward. So, I am moving and I'm still moving. I'm a girl child trying to walk. And so, keep yeah, moving. Yeah, strong girl child, girl power. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I really wish you the very best of your endeavor and I hope and pray that uh, Nigerians will see this and uh, they will patronize you and I hope that some one young girl somewhere is watching and uh, Joyce, I believe, uh, has is, is going to inspire you if you're a young lady. Whatever thing you want to be, whatever you want to be, you can be. If you're a young child, whether a boy or a girl, I tell, I tell you anything you want to be, it is possible for you, you to become what Whatever you put your heart to, you will definitely be. So she, I encourage you to look at her own story, look at her life, and um, start off something. Have grit. Understand that things can work and things will fail. And when it fails, you don't have to sit down. You have to pick yourself up and continue the journey. And I believe that you will become a success. Thank you very much for And always be positive. <laughs> I'll say a very big thank you to all of you for watching this episode. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I trust and believe that uh, you have learned one thing or the other from this episode. See you next time and God bless you.